how is it going everybody mr android here well if you just bought yourself a brand new oneplus not 4 then you have clicked on the right video and it is going to be super useful for you today i'll be sharing with you some of the best tips tricks and hidden features that will help you get the most out of this stunning looking smartphone guys i just love the way this phone looks and feels in my hands probably one of the best looking smartphones you can get right now for this price with that being said, it's going to be a really interesting video, so stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first, let me show you some exclusive AI features that OnePlus has added to the Nord 4. And currently, these features are not available even on the latest OnePlus flagship, the OnePlus 12. As you all know, OnePlus phones have this smart sidebar feature that you can trigger by just swiping over the edges of the screen. On the Nord 4, they have added these two brand new AI tools called AI Speak and AI Summary right inside the sidebar. The best part is it works on every single application that you have installed on your phone. You can use the AI Speak feature to read out the entire content which is present on the screen. So when you don't have enough time to read an article or an email, you can simply swipe to bring up the sidebar and tap on AI Speak. There are options to choose between male or female audio. You can also replay the same part and increase the speed for your convenience. Apart from this, we also have this AI Summary tool that will summarize the entire web page or the content that is available on the screen. If you want, you can copy, share or save that summary directly to your phone. Another interesting AI feature can be found inside the camera application and it's called AI Perfect Shot. You can make use of this feature when you are clicking group photos with 3 or more people. If anyone blinks or closes their eyes, you can now easily fix it with just a single tap. OnePlus also added the AI Eraser feature that lets you remove any unwanted objects from your pictures. So when you are in the gallery app, just select any picture, tap on edit and here you get this brand new AI eraser option by using which you can remove any unwanted objects. So these are some exclusive AI features present on the Nord 4 and hopefully OnePlus will soon add these to other OnePlus phones as well. Now coming back to the sidebar, not only does it allow you to easily access your favorite applications, but you can also save text, images and files inside the dock so they are available with just a single swipe when you are in different applications. Let me show you how this thing actually works. Let's say if I copy any text, I simply need to long press and you can see we have this pop-up called save to file doc. I can just drag and drop the text to my file doc and later I can use it in another application. Same way it goes with the images as well. Now let's say I take a screenshot, I can simply drag and drop onto the file doc and later I can send it to anyone in WhatsApp or any other messaging app. This thing works like a clipboard that you can access anytime with just a single swipe. Another feature related to the sidebar is the recent files. This shows all the recent files on your phone which you can directly access from anywhere without actually going into the files app. So there are so many useful features you get inside the smart sidebar. You can access your favorite apps, open applications in a split screen or a pop-up window. You can drag and drop files, images, get access to AI features and do lot more. So make sure you enable this feature by going into the settings, accessibility and convenience here you get the smart sidebar option, just make sure it is turned on. Another way to launch your favorite apps and shortcuts is by using the fingerprint scanner. If I touch and hold the fingerprint scanner even after my phone gets unlocked, I get this pop-up menu where I can quickly launch my favorite apps and shortcuts. To activate this feature, go into your phone settings, select accessibility and convenience and here enable this option called quick launch. You can choose your favorite apps and shortcuts which you want to access using your fingerprint. Next thing I'll recommend you to do is simply change the display resolution. Even though this device has a stunning 1.5K resolution display, it is not enabled by default. So go into your phone settings, select display and brightness, scroll down and click on this option called screen resolution. It is set to standard. You can go ahead and change it to highest for more sharper and higher resolution display. This might consume a bit more battery, but trust me, you will get much better viewing experience on your phone. Since we are in the display settings, if you go inside screen refresh rate, we now have this option called app specific refresh rate. This basically allows you to set the refresh rate on different apps individually depending on your requirement. In this setting, you need to make sure that all your frequently used applications are running at 120Hz for much better and smoother experience. Next, let's talk about gestures. OnePlus Nord 4 has so many useful gestures that can save a lot of your time. 
If you want to open apps in a split screen window, you just need to swipe up with your three fingers and now you can easily open multiple apps in a split screen window. Similarly, if you swipe down with three fingers, it takes the screenshot. Not only this, you can even control your phone with hand gestures without touching the actual screen. Go inside accessibility and convenience, select gestures and motions. Here you get something called as add gestures. Just go ahead and turn this on. Now when you receive calls on your phone, you can simply hold the back of your hand with the fingers pointed down and flick it up to attend a call. If you want to mute a call, then simply hold and show your palm like this. These are some air gestures you can use on your phone and there are also some screen off gestures which you can assign to do certain tasks when your phone screen is off. If I draw O, it opens up camera instantly without having to unlock my phone. Similarly, if I draw V, it toggles the flashlight. You can activate these screen off gestures by going into the gestures and motions. Select screen off gestures and here you can turn on all the additional gestures which will definitely save a lot of your time. Now let me show you a couple of home screen settings you need to change right now. Simply swipe with your two fingers on the home screen, tap on more. Here you can change the home screen grid. By default, it is set to 4x5, but you can change it to 5x5 or even 5x6. And this way you can add more apps on your home screen for easier access. Next we have this option called icon pull down gestures. Once you enable this feature, what it does is, if you swipe upward on the left or right side of the screen, it will pull down the app icon which are located at the top and without lifting your finger, you can continue swiping to an icon and then release it to open that specific app right away. This way you can easily access any app on your home screen with just one hand. Another setting that you should enable is the double tap to lock and wake your screen so you don't have to press the power button every time to lock your phone. I'll also suggest you to change the swipe down on home screen option from shelf to notification drawer. Now you can swipe anywhere to open the quick settings panel. You can also adjust the speed of the app opening and closing animation. It is set to medium by default, but you can change that to fast and you will immediately notice a huge difference. All the apps will open much quicker than before. Guys, if you like creating folders on your home screen, then did you know you can enlarge the folders? Simply long press and select the enlarge folder option. This way you can directly open the app in just a single click without the need to open the folder first. Next in the settings, we have one more exclusive feature that is available on this phone. If I go into the mobile networks, there is a new feature called Beacon Link. Once you enable this, you will be able to call people nearby even if you don't have an internet connection or mobile signal. To use this feature, just make sure you have turned on the Bluetooth connection and it will only work if the other person has also enabled this feature on their phone. Next, we have one really important setting that can be extremely useful when you send your phone for repair. Just go to system and updates and then select repair mode. Once you enter this mode, all your personal information including your photos, videos, contacts, messages and chats will be completely hidden and no one will be able to access your personal data in your absence. If you want to get some beautiful wallpapers to customize your home screen, then swipe with your two fingers, go to wallpapers and here you get some really good looking live and static wallpapers that will totally change the look of your home screen. And there is also this blur option which you can use to make the icons and widgets pop on your home screen. Guys, you can also go to the workshop section where you can create your own wallpapers using any existing picture in your gallery. I have tried creating multiple wallpapers using this feature and it really works quite well. Next, let me show you some more customization features. If you go inside wallpaper and style, here you get all the options related to customization. If you want to enable the always on display, just go inside and turn on this feature. You can choose from different styles and there is this really cool carbon footprint option. This AOD theme actually monitors your daily step count. When you walk more, you can see the positive impact you are making right there on the Olison display. Next in the customization, you also get the option to change the font style, change the shape of your app icons and even you can apply different icon packs from the Play Store. Adjust the size and there is an option called system color which will change the icon color automatically depending on your current wallpaper. Next, you can customize the accent color, change the fingerprint animation, add different lighting styles when you receive notifications on your phone. You can customize the quick setting style, change the shape and do lot more. There are so many customization features that will completely change the look of your smartphone. Next in the gallery, we have a really useful editing feature called smart cutout. If you want to separate a subject from the background, you just need to press and hold and it instantly gives you the option to save the PNG file. 
This feature is already present on Samsung and Apple devices. I'm glad that OnePlus also added this feature. Generally, OnePlus phones have really good haptics and the best part is you can also adjust the haptics depending on your requirement. So go to settings, select sounds and vibrations, scroll all the way down and then select haptics. Here you can adjust the intensity as per your need. Once done, now you can easily feel the difference when you unlock your phone, touch and hold app icons, when using gestures or opening the recent apps menu and in many more places. When you press and hold the power button, it activates the Google Assistant instead of the power off menu. In order to change that, go to your phone settings, select accessibility and convenience and click on power button. Now you can change the press and hold action. If it is set to Google Assistant, simply change it to power off menu. Not4 also comes with a built-in app locker, so if you want to lock apps on your phone, head over to the app section, select app lock. Here you can set a different password to lock all your applications. Now you can choose the apps you want to lock on your phone. You can use your fingerprint or face ID to lock your apps. Not only this, you can even hide applications by going into the app drawer and here simply swipe all the way to the right. You can set a different password and start hiding your applications from appearing anywhere on your phone. Finally, let me show you some useful camera tricks. When you want to click pictures, you don't need to press the shutter button. Instead, you just need to tap anywhere on the screen and it captures instantly. To enable this feature, go to your camera settings, scroll down and select this option called shooting methods. Simply enable tap to capture and show palm. Now you can show your palm to take selfies and tap anywhere in the viewfinder to take pictures. Another setting you need to change is the volume button actions. If it is set to shutter, simply change it to zoom and now you can zoom in and zoom out using the volume buttons. Guys, you can also turn on the quick launch toggle so you can quickly launch the camera by double pressing the button. You can record up to 4K 60fps videos on the smartphone and you get all the manual controls to adjust the ISO, white balance and the shutter speed. You can take some really high quality pictures and record some stunning videos on this phone. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the best tips, tricks and hidden features for your OnePlus Nord 4. Guys, I will be making a lot more videos on this phone, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.